So the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro are now available and a lot of people bought them. And you can see a lot of tech YouTubers have them and have been reviewing them. You might notice one thing, I ain't got it. There's a couple reasons for that. Number one, Apple did not send them to me like they did some of the other tech reviewers. And also I did not buy any like some of the other tech reviewers. There's a couple reasons for that. Of course, I'll be happy to let you know all about that. Right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listen to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's just get into the video. So yes, if you've been paying attention to YouTube over the last day or so, you've seen a bunch of reviews for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, and they've been all over the place. Most of the time, uh, any tech reviewer that you ever watch has, has now done a review. Except for, except for me, I, I haven't done one. And there's a couple reasons for that, because when it comes down to smartphones, especially the more expensive ones like iPhones and even the Galaxy Note series of phones and even the Fold 2, which I have, um, I buy them for my personal use. So I review them here, but they're really more for my personal use. And I just don't want a smaller version of an iPhone. Not only that, there's some other reasons why I wouldn't get the iPhone 12 or even the 12 Pro. Now I have the 11 Pro Max right now and I intend on getting the 12 Pro Max and I'll tell you why. Uh, and that's kind of important because there are some aspects of these other phones that just don't really intrigue me and maybe don't intrigue some of you. Having said that, these things are selling like hotcakes. I did a video about this recently, talking about the pre-sales hype and how many units these things have already sold. It's crazy. I'll leave a link for that in the description below and uh, in the end screen. It's really absolutely crazy. And by the way, how, do hotcakes sell really well? I mean, that the expression is sell like hotcakes. Really sell good like hotcakes. I, everywhere I've ever been, I can get hotcakes whenever I want to. They, they don't sell out, so I don't know what that's about. Anyway, let me talk first about the iPhone 12 and why I didn't want to pick that up, and then I'll talk about the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, the iPhone 12 is a 6.1 inch screen with the two cameras on the back, and finally OLED and 5G. So that would normally be enough for most people to purchase a phone. But for me, two reasons why I won't. One of those is actually shared with the iPhone 12. Pro. And that is the size. 6.1 inch screen back in the day was a big display, but for me, I need the 6.7 and 6.8 and 6.9, baby. I'm all about this big phone life. 6.1 just won't do. Uh, it's a nice size for most people. And listen, I get it. Some people are absolutely against larger phones and the iPhone mini will probably be for you. But for me, uh, 6.1 is just not enough. But the other thing about the iPhone 12, which actually, if it wasn't for this, I might have picked one up, is the price. It's like $800 now. That thing was a lot less expensive last year when it was the iPhone 11. And for what is essentially the lowest end phone of the iPhones, and I, again, I'm not really counting the mini because that's more of a size thing, uh, it's just too much. I'm not paying $800 for a phone that I feel like I'm compromising on in some significant ways. Again, uh, battery life being one of them and the other being the screen. Speaking of which, Mr. Who's the Boss did a battery test here on these phones and actually found out that the iPhone 12 does have a better battery life than the iPhone 11. However, the iPhone 12 Pro does not have as good enough battery as the iPhone 11 Pro. So I, I wouldn't go for the 12 Pro either. I I'm not gonna go down in battery life. I mean, the 12 Pro, 11 Pro Max has a ridiculous battery life. For me, that's a big deal. Battery life has to be excellent. And I get like two days on this thing. I'm not going down to a one day phone anytime soon. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. So iPhone 11, yeah, out of here. iPhone 11 Pro for battery life, yeah, out of here. And by the way, how did they go down in battery life on the 12 Pro from the 11 Pro? That's some scary stuff. I hope that doesn't happen on the 12 Pro Max. Better not, better not. And of course the cameras are the other reason why I wouldn't go with the iPhone 12 or even the iPhone 12 Pro. And I may be thinking, well, the 12 Pro has the three cameras, but as I've mentioned before in another video, which again, put the link in the description below, the cameras on the 12 Pro Max are actually better than even the 12 Pro. Again, Apple, what are you doing? Real quick rant here. I don't like that Apple took two of the Pro phones and made them slightly different from each other, including some better camera optics on the 12 Pro Max. Even though I'm getting that phone, it doesn't exactly feel fair because what if you want that better camera quality on a slightly smaller phone? I mean, lucky for me, doesn't affect me, but it's pretty crappy. Now, when we talk about the iPhone 12 Pro, while again, the screen size is too small for me and the battery life is not good enough for me, if I really wanted to kind of go there and get one, I still wouldn't because the price is only $100 less than the Pro Max. This is a different thing as the pricing has shifted slightly this year. Uh, there's no reason in my mind, unless you just don't like larger phones, to get an 11 Pro over a Pro Max. As a matter of fact, 
Um, even the 11 is only 100. The, the pricing on the 11 Pro, on the 12 Pro, makes it seem like the, the weak phone of all of the lineup, which is kind of crazy. Again, I think it's gonna come right down strictly to the size of the phone. I don't want that size. Many of you have said in the comments below, and you can do that again today, that you like a smaller phone. And so the 6.1 inch iPhone Pro might be a really exciting option for you, especially since you can't get the big bad mamma jamma yet anyway. And really the main reason is the 12 Pro Max is coming out in a couple of weeks. Now it is weird that they had to split this up. I'm not a big fan of that, but the reality is this. I don't wanna go down in screen size, in capabilities or anything, not even battery, for an upgrade year. It's not gonna happen. So 12 Pro Max for me. Now, as I was talking about some of those other YouTubers getting a bunch of different iPhones, especially the ones that are paying out of pocket, I gotta tell you something, man. They can do that all they want. They can get four or five iPhones and they can have all the colors and do an unboxing of all of them. That's great. I'm there for all of that. I'm there to watch it, but I'm not there to watch my pockets fall out of my pants because I'm buying these iPhones so you can see an unboxing. That's not happening on this channel. And I need something that's practical. For me, I need something that has a great camera because I use it for B-roll here on this channel and a really long battery life whenever I'm away, if that ever happens again. The iPhone 11 Pro Max actually lasted me in Las Vegas with an incredible battery life during CES this past year. I wanna mention that when you're in a crowded place like that, especially when there's tons of people with smartphones, it tends to drain the battery of your phone fast. And I know from experience, any of my Android phones would never have lasted the entire day and my iPhone 11 Pro Max lasted every single day. And for someone like me who's gonna be using that for a run and gun, I absolutely need to be able to rely on my phone without a battery pack and a charger and all these other things. I don't wanna have to worry about that. The 11 Pro Max, and now coming into the 12 Pro Max, should last me all day. That's really one of the biggest reasons I go for the largest phone, not just the screen size, the battery life. But what do you think? Are you getting a 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, or even the 12? Are you one of those iPhone 12 mini people? Let me know in the comments below. And by the way, I have those videos I was talking about right here and here. Uh, I hope to see you on these Apple YouTube streets. See you again real soon. Peace and love.